Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number three on our series of configuring ISP config uh, or customizing ISP config. On video two, we learn how to create um, clients and also start creating our first site. So now um, we're ready to start managing our site, but before that, we have to set up our DNS. So, excuse me. So I'm going to open my Google Chrome and HTTPS, and there it is. And you know what? Just, I'm going to save it. So, um, local. So that way, as the, we go through a series, we, we won't have to be uh, asked so many, so many times. So, okay, so that's done. Let me log in. Okay. So now we created our, we already created a client, just to recap. We already created a site. Here it is. It's called ispconfig-tutorial.net. Now we're ready to start, you know, the machines don't really know what's going on. So step one is to, I would actually use this wizard. If you haven't used it too much, this would be the way to go. Um, so you click on wizard then you're going to click on whatever client so remember if you have multiple clients you would set up your, your dns and whatever the name of, of the site is going to be so ispconfig.tutorial.net that the ip address is going to be the local ip address so you can see it, it actually shows up right here if you had if you have multiple servers they'll show up so we're going to click on that and then the the name server for now, we're going to continue using our own here. Um, so it's going to be uh, ns1, ns1 dot, uh, the name server, you actually get it from, I use Go, uh, GoDaddy a, a lot or uh, uh, Namecheap, and I use theirs, but then I link mine to them, but we'll walk through that part later. So we're just going to generate one, a bogus one here. So ns1 dot freelance tech dot com and then number two oops is gonna be the same thing but number two or whatever your provider gave you. It's gonna be webmaster web webmaster at um, at this Okay, so then we're going to create the zones or the records, and here it is. Now we have a DNS zone. When we click on it, you'll notice that you have seconds and so forth and what have you. This, you don't have to touch too much. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to records, and this is where you're going to start managing. So the one thing I'm going to do is, if you notice, now it actually knows what to do. So my main site goes back to this one. So what I would actually do at this point is set up my local computer to be pointed to this particular um, DNS and automatically it'll let me, it'll, it'll take me to here. And I'll show you that. Uh, so I'm going to log out of this. And then I'm going to actually edit my network. So here's my network. I'm going to edit this. Um, and I'm also going to turn on the Windows. So uh, we'll see it work with the Windows. So you can see here, automatic uh, DHCP only. That means it gives me access to enter whatever D uh, DNS I want, 71.51. I'm going to save this. And I'm gonna close it. Okay, so um, now then my network actually rebooted. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm using a Linux Mint. I have to disable it and then turn it back on. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is paste the website right here, isp-config, and now here you are. We're greeted by the welcome. And I'll show you at the very end how you change this so the customers actually see maybe something different. Uh, maybe something more pleasing. This doesn't work. I mean, this does. This 
it's not bad um, the only thing that would happen is uh, I would recommend changing this maybe to your organization um, that way the and then maybe some rules or excuse me, some steps for, so that your customers know what to do next so now we have the DNS working now we, we're actually active um, so again uh, just a recap let me log in so again remember we've already set up a client we've already set up a site and now we skip the emails you notice how I went straight to the DNS and set up a DNS so now the local computers here internally know what to do on this and we're gonna test it now with Windows let me log out of this close this out and okay so here's Windows um, so uh, let me go ahead and log in so it's a Windows 8 machine um, remember we installed it on Windows 7 I mean Windows XP so but th there's no point on, on keep on running XP since you guys are going to be seeing this so step one is what I'm going to end up doing is switching my DNS and that's just because it's an internal network which I already have active I don't want to you know make all, the all kinds of changes but um, I'm going to set this machine up so it goes to the DNS and version 4 well, actually I don't have version 6 so I'm going so to use the following DNS which is going to be 199.168.71.51 okay so now this machine knows that the DNS for it is um, the ISP config server because remember ISP config it's just like like having a small router at the house uh, it has multiple features with built into it uh, router is actually your router obviously it's a DHCP server it's a DNS server for some cases so it does way more than just your typical so what we're gonna do here is if I was to actually enter um, uh, ISP config oh come on dash tutorial to tutorial. was it tutorial tutorials tutorial tutorial.net then it should be greeted by the welcome and there it is even though I didn't put the HTTP it automatically knew the DNS recognized it and sent you to the right spot so here's a Windows computer doing the same thing so if I was to have a hundred devices or a thousand they're all gonna be working and linking to the same DNS they're gonna be pointing to the same spots um, hopefully this made sense again uh, subscribed all that good jazz uh, thumbs up and uh, on the next video we'll actually start tweaking uh, more of the sites FTPs and so forth I'll, I'll try to keep the videos as short as I can uh, thanks a lot guys have a good one man